In order to prevent any confusion, uh, season pass owners do not, I say again, does not get the Force 16 or the Caviera icon or anything else. They will have to buy the Rainbow Six equipment pack, which includes this Caviera icon right here. You can actually see her. Uh, it's a pretty decent model. It's a fair representation of uh, the Rainbow Six uh, operator. She actually looks kind of good with the MP5 too. I mean, and I would say she might be my candidate for a ghost mode playthrough. You'll also get the Lucian, which is Caviera's um, handgun. Interestingly enough, they still have the Made in USA uh, on the gun, meaning they have used their previous M92 model and not the Taurus model that Caviera actually uses. Uh, I'm not inclined to call it sloppy, but considering you have to pay 20 bucks for the entire package, well, it is sloppy. Then we have the 416, and here I have uh, some things to say. First of all, it looks like to be a decent rendition of the HK416. Uh, the handguard, however, cuts off a little bit abruptly. Uh, I haven't really studied the A5 model, but I have uh, two Rainbow, uh, two HK416 replicas at home. One is the M27, and one is the HK416C, you know, the one that Jaeger uses. And, um, I mean... It's nice, the, the stock is, seems to be almost completely correct. Most of the handguard seems correct, they've even added some rail covers there. So, it's not, and they even have uh, the flip-ups here. But those are your standard issue Ghost Recon flip-ups, not the ones that are actually included. Uh, however, they represent the Dioper sites well enough. Uh, However, this is the Rainbow Six Pack, so please, Ubisoft, you could have just made it Jaeger's 416C. I mean, it would have been so much nicer, because I'm not going to accuse it of being an M16 reskin, but there are people who's going to do that. And there's also the, uh, the added worry that... Um, since uh, the M16A1 was not included, I mean, they, there were several glaring errors on that gun, so... Uh, however, I have literally have the M27 in my hand as I'm saying this, and as far as I know, there, ain't, there is no short barrel for this one. And uh, that's, that's basic. We're, we're gonna come back to this in a second. I'm going to go deeper onto the 416. And uh, then we have the one hole skull balaclava. And we have the rapture mag. Not really stuff that I care about, honestly. Uh, we also have one of the new voice lines and eye on the prize emote. For some reason, we can't actually preview these, but hey. So. I said once that if icons appeared in the store and not in the gambling loot packs, then I would do this. I put my money where my mouth is. I said I would buy a package of icons and, well, I am. Right now we are currently on the track to the mission itself. We have armed ourselves with our new weapons. I will be talking about uh, 416 and uh, the Caveras gun a little Bad bit later. But right now let's just uh, go for the mission and we haven't received any briefing text. I mean, clicking on this we don't get anything and uh, we haven't really... Uh, okay, gotten cool. any updates from Bowman either, so let's just go in and see what's up. Lots of tangos down here. Maybe we should keep the guns That's down. That's a civilian. We don't scare anybody. Looks like the truck is out of business. The alert signal is coming from the truck. 
Something's up. Dead bodies everywhere, money all over the place. Weird. Stay frosty, everyone. Nice music switch. They didn't even take the cash. This shit was personal. Somebody's new in town and they're going to war with the cartel. I better call this in. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've got a situation. We picked up an alert signal and tracked it to a crashed vehicle. We got dead Sicarios all over the place. Worried about your job security? Whoever did this didn't take any of the money. That doesn't feel like Rebels or Unidad. There's something strange happening. Oh, shit. I think I may know what this is about. Wait one. Nomad, let me introduce an old friend. She's with Rainbow, and she might be able to shed some light on the situation. Nomad, this is Valkyrie. One of our operators recently went off grid, and we suspect she's in Bolivia. We don't know what she's there for, but the crash scene sounds like her work. She's a good operator, but she can get carried away. We want to handle this in family, but we need to move fast. The clock is ticking on this one. We could sure use your help bringing this one home. We're happy to lend a hand as long as we get the go-ahead from Bowman. If there's action in Bolivia, I want in on it. Nomad, you're clear to assist Rainbow, but remember, you'll still report to me. Keep Valkyrie in the loop on anything you find. I hope you know we do the same for you. We already have an operator on the ground in Bolivia. Her name is Twitch. Link up with her and show her what you've found. I'm patching the coordinates to you now. Valkyrie out. Looks like we'll have to steal the card. We're going to meet a Rainbow operator named Twitch. She's a tech expert, does a lot of work with drones. She's the real deal, so everybody look sharp and be on your best behavior. Let's hope she doesn't I'll shoot us for I'll coming in the Santa Blanca car. I have my entire life. I have taught disrespect for Pachamama to my children, and I will teach We are clear. Move up. Let's rendezvous with Twitch. Looks like she already have rebel support. There. That's gotta be her. We're clear over here. God, these fuckers are sloppy. Uh, they didn't even give Twitch her Famas? The Famas is in the game, so why didn't they just give her the Famas? You must be Twitch. And you must be the vaunted ghosts that I hear so much about. We hear you need a hand. Cavera, one of our Brazilian operators, went AWOL. I tracked her to Bolivia, but I lost her trail. I heard you found something interesting. We found a truck full of money and a bunch of dead Sicarios. So they killed everyone and left the money behind? Sounds like it could be our girl. Take me to the truck. I want to see it for myself. Let's roll. Oh, now we have to get back there? Well, let's grab the helicopter. If we can fit everyone into it, that is. Alright, night vision mode on. Let's go. I'll pilot. Uh, Twitch, you coming? I know it's not Jaeger that's flying, but hey, take what you can get. Being in Bolivia reminds me of Brazil during Operation Mystic Tiger. What can you tell us about Cavera? I can tell you. You better hope she's in a good mood when we find her. What would bring her down here? What connection does she have to Bolivia? I wish I knew. She grew up in Hosina. She was arrested for some petty stuff when she was a kid before she joined Bope. Think she's got some connection to the cartel? Cavera? No way. She's one of Rainbow's best interrogators. She loves the work. Maybe a little too much. All right, everyone out. Let's show the lady the goods. I want to look around. You and your team hang back. Be my guest. Mm. 
knife wound to the neck. Caveras definitely been here. Genial. The truck has a satellite GPS tracking its movements. Find anything? That's definitely Caveras work. The only thing I found was the location of the camp the truck left from. It's not much to go on, but it's all we've got. Then let's check the place out. All right, let's head back into the chopper. All aboard. That means you too, Twitch. And uh, Twitch. You coming? Apparently not. All right, jump inside. I'm good. Crank it. We need to watch out for the Unidad helicopter. drone you have. I've never seen anything like it. It's a one of a kind. I built it myself with the latest parts from Skeltech. Skeltech? And here I thought we had all the cool toys. Yeah, it runs smooth and quiet, virtually undetectable. And it has a taser that can take out anything up to seven and a half meters. I can go almost anywhere and you would never know I was there. Huh. When we get back stateside, we need to raid the Rainbow Supply Office. All right, everyone out. Let's see what we can find from the binoculars. Let's go. Far too quiet for a camp in Bolivia, trust me, I would know. Where is everybody? This is too quiet. Look around. See what you can find. Cap it out, will do. Let's have a look what's up here. Gotta be something. you some hear that? Whoever's on that radio knows something. Find them. Roger that. Breach, breach, breach. Easy, come in. Then. Surprise, asshole. Now answer my questions, or my voice will be the last thing you hear before you visit the great unknown. Comprende? Por favor, I'll tell you anything. We found a truck full of banknotes that came from this camp. Where was it going? El truco? See, si, a month's fucking profit. That asshole Dengozo stole it. What kind of name is Dengozo? Did he clear out the camp? Dengozo? You kidding me? The fucking devil killed us. Listen, shit stain. I want a name. The devil came. The devil came and he killed them. I tried to call him enforcements, but the devil is too fast. He came like a flash and killed everyone. That sounds like our girl. What did she want? Please. She only asked one question. Where is Dengozo? I told her, he stole the truck. She just got more mad. Listen, those reinforcements he ordered. All right, let's get ready for a gunfight. All right, take cover and prepare to engage. Bordel de merde, contact! Down. Another one goes down. 
Just aim for the pilots. They're on this side. Chop is approaching. Two more. Take this! We shot down the helo. Right out. Frag out. Move. I'm engaging tangos. Taking more fire. Right out. Grenade out. Got that fucking helo. There is a lot of enemy tangos right now. Reload and keep moving. Right out. There we go. This isn't like fighting with Rambo. All right, we're clear. That was some good shooting. You should come play with Rambo sometime. First, I want to know who this Dengozo is. Bowman, this is Nomad. Sorry for the delay. We've been pretty busy here. Hang on. Let me patch in Valkyrie. Nomad, did you find Caveta? Not yet, but we know what she's been looking for in Bolivia. Someone named Dengozo. Ring any bells? Doesn't sound familiar. We'll do some digging and get back to you when we find something. Valkyrie out. Hmm. Someone is royally pissing off the cartel and I don't know who it is. I'll be in touch. Bowman out. Bowman and Valkyrie will let us know when they have something. I'll go find some higher ground and check my gear and get ready. Roger that. Well, we did a fair number on this convoy, I would say. Lots of securities are dead. Let's grab the chopper. Nomad, we've managed to dig up some intel on our mystery friend, Dangozo. Nomad, it turns out Dangozo is Brazilian Policia Federal. He's gone undercover and infiltrated the Santa Blanca cartel. He was smuggling cash from Brazil to Bolivia. What does Caveira want with him? We still don't know. But if Dangozo managed to infiltrate the cartel, he's got to have some good information, and I want it. Our only lead is the location of his cash. Check it out and see what you can find. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Copy all. There has to be a way up there. Uh, maybe through the next house. What took you so long? Actually, I'm going to say that's a valid question from Twitch in that regard. We have to breach. How about you let Rambo show you how it's done? Actually, we've got a breach charge. We don't need Ghosts that. Ghosts prefer to do things a little quieter. All right, sweep it. Somebody's already been here. Maybe your pal Cavera. Tina, if you're there, pick up. I'm in trouble. Santa Blanca found out on Policia Federal. I ran, but they have me now at the Libertad Chemical Institute. I stole a cell phone, but I have to ditch it. If they find it, I don't know how long I have. Please, you can rescue your little brother one more time. These people, they're animals. Taina, please hurry. Taina, let me guess. It's Cavera's first name. She came here to save her brother from Santa Blanca. This message has already been played. Cavera. She knows Dengozo is at the Chemical Institute. We need to haul ass. Check it out. That's Cavera. This proves she has some connection to Dengozo. An ex-boyfriend? A former lover? Definitely not. Because he's Policia Federal? No. Let's just leave it at no. I'm with Twitch on this one. Alright, team. Let's form up and get to work. We got some new info on Dengozo. While he was working for Santa Blanca, he fucked up somehow. Now they have him captured. If Santa Blanca has him, he won't last long. We'll need to move fast. Anything else? Yeah, his full name is Joao Pereira. Pereira? That means... Yeah. Cavera is his big sister. 
The cartel has them at the Libertad Chemical Institute. We're headed there now. Just about everywhere we go and throw lead, the kids still find the time to play. I don't know if I can get this chopper off the ground hey now. Hey man, try but to take us off some sweet jumps, all right? We have the Chemical Institute right up here. Everyone out. Switch to suppressors. That goes for you too, Twitch. Move up. We're almost there. Let's hope we can catch up to Cavera before she does. Yeah, I think we've already got okay, a beat to it. I've got Cavera's signal. Time to hustle. All right, ammo is full. Let's get to where Cavera is. Could use the backup if nothing else. That's a price, the motherfucker. That's our girl. She's in here somewhere. Yeah. Spill it. Breaking your ally wasn't very challenging. But I found ways to have fun. Cavera. Who the hell are you? We're Ghost Recon. Rainbow sent us to extract you. Boha. I'm not going anywhere. Unidad Bird of Ghost must have my down. brother. You can't fight all those Sicarios alone. Oh, alrighty then. I guess it's a party. Between all the operators, I'm fe getting the feeling that Holt is I feeling keep pretty we alone. I have to go out more, but this isn't what I meant. I didn't want to get you in trouble. It's not going out if you can't get in trouble. I'll find some high ground and do some recon. I'll let you know what I find. All right. We've got some hostile activity. Let's move. Two Sicarios inside the public garden. All right, Roger that. We'll follow Twitch and get through the tunnel. This is actually a multiplayer map, so I'm pretty familiar with how to infiltrate it. Of course, we are going to have to why do we keep ki kicking those cans? All right, we have one son of a bitch here. Got a third. Tiny tap. And of course we can't climb that. All right. HVT is in the main building. Move. Once they cross paths, we are going to get them. Keep a watchful eye. Can't go down. Enemy spotted. Can't go down. Move up. All right, they know we're here now. Let's try and... <laughs> breach, breach, breach. Frag out. How's that feel, shithead? Sniper, take cover. I have to say, the reference, w the reference with the... with the barricades and stuff like that is fucking amazing. They've actually done their their work here, and it's it's kind of really fun that let's let's switch to flashbang so we can reach flash and clear. Hey, flashbang. Threats inside the building. Get the hell out of there. God fucking damn it! That's what I get for switching to the shotgun. This is embarrassing, you know that. Really embarrassing. 
Thankfully, my man Holt got my back on this one. All right, so lesson learned is... Apparently, we can't break them with melee. We have to shoot them. But still, it's ve very He's fun. Here. How many rooms does this place have? Dangozu! Get out here, Selbuhu! We're here to rescue you! Alright, let's fill up on the ammunition and proceed. Threats inside the building! We need to keep moving! Yep, that we do. Also, I'm fairly certain that thing just... I came from inside the building. Selbrosha! Give me a real fight! They're trying. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we can get get up this way. Taking fire. Watch the building. Let's remove the suppressor and engage. All right, I don't think we can get up this way. We'll have to find another way up. There is a bit of a problem here that uh, Ghost Recon doesn't handle close quarters battle well. Uh, it's always clunky, it's always a bit weird. And it's always difficult to hold down the angles when you try. Oh, there are Rainbow Six shields here as well that you can take cover behind. Okay, th this is actually quite a neat thing. That basically they turned the entire house into a uh, into a Rainbow Six stronghold. I really approve of that. I mean, I really approve of that. It's it's a playground basically, and it's a good mix between the franchises. A really good mix, I might add. All right, let's switch to shotguns and fire it well. Flashback. Oh crap! Switching to HK. Tango's down. Let's switch to back to frags, and we got this. Something for you. I was trying to convince that clear this room, but obviously not. Okay, so we are right now in the right position. Good. Let's go grab the stairs and get up. Let's grab an ammo refill. We spotted one of submachine guns. Gonna feel weird for Cavera to be on the attacking side for once, wouldn't it? So far, kick the door. Eyes on Dengozo. We found him. Obrigado, sis. I like the makeup. Quiet. Let's go. All right, we need to get to the rally point. Santa Blanca is moving in. I'll slow him down as long as I can. I'll meet you at the RP. Roger that. Give him hell. Let's right give out. him a grenade. They've earned it. Twitch, if this is you slowing them down... Damn, these guys are crazy! Well, you do, welcome to the party, Twitch. These guys are not nice. Let's 
sweep it. Clear. Let's grab some wheels and try and stay low while we get some HP back. Frag out. Frag out. I will end you. Please do. Tango down. Come on, everyone in. Uh, guys, you need to hurry before they blow up the fucking car. Let's move. We need to find some of the wheels. Let's try this one. Let's go. Return fire. Return fire. We could grab the helicopter, but I don't think there's any point in it, really. Obrigado, Dinah. I knew you wouldn't let them hurt me. Caralho. What's wrong with you? Why would you get yourself into that situation? You could have gotten killed. You would never let that happen. Ever since I was a boy, she's always looked out for me. I'm tired of saving your ass. Where was Polícia Federal? Where was your backup? I was deep cover. No backup, no nothing. It's the only way to get into the cartel. And stealing a truck full of money? Was that going to get you into the cartel? I, I, I didn't know there was money in the truck. Someone snitched on me. They knew I was undercover. I had to escape. I took the first vehicle I saw. Man, you're just one unlucky guy. Yeah, I have to agree with that assessment. The only thing that would make the cartel hunt you more and you manage to steal it. You know, it's nice to see the rainbows and the ghosts can work together. A little interagency cooperation never hurts. Maybe we'll get to do it again. We come down here to play every now and then. Hey, I heard something about an op you guys ran that went south. Operation Patriots ring any bells? <laughs> 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 Tell your sources to mind their business. Patriots is very classified. <laughs> so you won't tell me what happened? Not even with a knife to my throat. If you don't know, basically Rainbow Six Patriots was a Rainbow Six game that never came out. And part of the reason why... Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon? They're a special unit, like Rainbow Six. We're like the Rainbows, only we can drink more beer. Huh, very funny. Oh wait, you're the ones fucking up Santa Blanca operations, aren't you? Yeah, I heard of you guys. Everyone's heard of Los Gringos in La Selva. They don't all say it, but... Santa Blanca's scared of you. I can see it in their eyes. The way they're afraid of El Sueño is the same way they're afraid of you. If El Sueño was smart, he'd be afraid too. <laughs> That's the shit, man. <laughs> then Gozu, you should shut your mouth. Yeah, I don't really trust that guy with knowing... Uh, knowing everything about two major special operations team. Also, the team is called Rainbow, not Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is the person leading Rainbow. Ending that deal between Santa Blanca and that refinery, you are just about to shoot down the cartel's cocaine production. Que chingón, carnal! Hola. Thank you for the help. I was afraid you'd get lost operating outside for once. Hey, she can read a compass. And let's keep this one amongst friends. We don't need anyone else knowing one of our operators went off res. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cause any trouble. Then you should have stayed home. Don't make me choose between my duty and my family. Now that you've had your happy reunion, I'd like to have a little chat with Den Gozo. He's Police Federal. He doesn't have to talk to you. Your big sister fights for you. Does she talk for you too? I want what you have on El Sueño. You have his location? Disculpame, but I don't work for you. 
We just pulled your ass out of a very hot fire. That doesn't change my answer. I'd hate to see a nice boy like you get renditioned to someplace dark and lonely. Just so you can answer a couple of questions, you could just as well answer here. You threatening my brother? Just expressing some concern. Amongst friends. After I report to my superiors, if they give me permission to share what I know, I'll contact you. By the time it gets through that red tape, that intel will be useless. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a thought that counts. Counts for what? Let's get out of here. I think we may have overstayed our welcome. That you have indeed. Sorry to be kind of bad house guests. Well, we've been getting all kinds of visitors these days. You didn't mean all that about rendition, did you? She didn't mean it. You ladies take care now. Au revoir. So we got Cavera gloves for our trouble, and we completed the assignment. So I will now talk a bit about the 416 and Cavera's pistol for a little while. You have to see this shit. You have to see this shit. This is the 416. This is the iron side shipped with the 416. I'm not kidding. I'm serious about this. I'm not kidding. Look at this. I mean, look at it. I, I wish I was making this shit up. Let's see if they work better with... Oh. We can't even pick any other iron sights. We have to go with the stock ones, and they don't work. Seriously? Didn't they test this? It is time for us to talk a bit about the 416 in detail. And the first detail I'm gonna say is that it is very similar to the M27. And that's most likely the reasoning why they put the text on is very popular with US military forces. Because the 417 is not widely accepted by anything but the Marines and Special Forces at this point. Uh, we don't we only have the standard buttstock. We do not have um, we do not have uh, the um, Jagger uh, collapsible stock, which is actually kinda sucks. Uh, let's just put the uh, M4 on there. We have the standard selection of the uh, assault rifle scopes to go with the gun. We have a full auto and semi-trigger. We can put on the standard magazine selections in regards to P mags. Or since this is a 416, they are most likely to be E mags. Uh, the difference is that the standard issue P mags made by Magpul will not fit a 416. Uh, so they basically designed what they called an E mag instead that will fit the 416 and similar guns. Le <coughs> Let's see how it looks with the grenade launcher. It looks decent with the grenade launcher. At least the two of three. So we are gonna check how it looks with the. Yeah, it looks it looks fine, but it's it's not really one of my favorite choices. Um, angled foregrip looks nice. I mean, it's okay. Uh, then we have the rail cover right here. Rangefinder, R dot, or just a standard fucking laser sight, and we can put on a standard barrel right there. So we're going to go with the standard barrel because it then we have not the absurd. Uh, length of the barrel. What I do, however, have to wonder is why on earth 
doesn't it come with a short barrel? I mean, a barrel that ends somewhere around here, like the 416 CQB version or something like that. It would have been nice. And... I can tell you right now that the stock muscle doesn't look anything like any 416 I've ever used. And... I mean, it's either a four-pronged or it's more similar to the bird. Uh, the bird cage one, but it doesn't look anything like that. Still, it actually looks like it can be a decent, decent gun. So, of course, like it's an H and K, so we're gonna put it in uh, this uh, tan-like color that reminds of Ra Ral 8000, which is what most 416s can be shipped as if they're not uh, black. So. We're gonna see how our operator looks with the 417, and of course, it's gonna have to load in first. Come on, game, I know you can do this. There, we have it loaded in now. It actually looks pretty good, doesn't... They actually seem to... There's some clipping on the stock. It feels nice as well. I mean, it doesn't really feel like it's one of a hundred guns or something like that. So we're gonna remove the suppressor. We're gonna reload. And then we're gonna open fire again. It is a really nice gun to, to use, actually. I think our guns are still yeah, uh, basically I'm shooting up the place, so of course our guns are spooking them. Well, that's my short look at the... Uh, at the... Uh, 417. Uh, basically, the Caveras Lucian is a big disappointment if we... I'm going to do something right here. We are... We can actually remove the uh, suppressor here. Uh, now I'm gonna do something. Uh, tell me if you can spot the difference. Basically, it's just a weapon skin. Caveras pistol is just a pistol skin. It's not, it might differ a bit in stats, but it's just a pistol skin. It's a nice pistol skin, but at the end of the day, it's just a pistol skin. So please be aware of that. Uh, I'm also kind of the opinion that the suppressor on Caveras on uh, Caveras uh, pistol should not be able to be removed. It looks like it's actually part of a custom job, but hey, there you go. 